Pisces, this is your reading for June 1st through the 30th. Oh, that flipped over. The Queen of Cups. So, now this can definitely represent you. Um, it could also represent another water sign that's of importance in your life. But I feel like this is in June where time where you are going to be, um, oh wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> Oh my gosh, that happened to Libra um, in Libra's reading. So I feel like there's, la there's less communication and possibly more inner reflection, looking at where you are, what you're feeling emotionally, intuitively, psychically. So some of you, it's also maybe taking a break because... I feel like some of you may be going away like for a weekend getaway, maybe to the seaside um, or near water. Might even just be like an afternoon day near water. But I get it's a time for reflection. So, and seeing what makes you content, happy, balanced, emotionally you know, happy. So, and it's also, I think, possibly regarding uh, love and reflecting on what it is that you want in your love life or who you want in your love life. So I'm going to put this back in. We'll see if it comes back out. But I think it's kind of getting away um, especially because my voice got so clear, you know, uh, closed off like that. It's it's like wanting some peace and possibly less communication. Also, deep meditation. Some of you may be going on a spiritual or like a meditative retreat. So, you know, in order to gain clarity. All right. So let me refocus here, Pisces. Okay. You heard that noise. That was Nicholas running around. Okay. All right. So we have... The Ten of Wands. I want to make sure that you can kind of see that. The Queen of Swords. The Six of Swords. The Page of Pentacles. And the Hermit. Okay, well, I'm going to get out uh, the card. Oh, look, we got the King of Swords underneath here. I wasn't going to look at it, uh, but we got the Queen and the King. So, uh, but I want to look for the, um, I want to look for what is around the Cancer, uh, Queen of Cancer. Let me see if she was going to come out. There's the Moon. And in June, I believe we have a full moon and a new moon, if I'm correct. And that also came up for Libra. Okay, let's see here. Where is she? <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. I like to do this, though, in front of the camera. Uh, did I pass her? I guess I did. Oh, there she is. Okay. Oh, wow. 
Well, and we have a 10 here. Okay, I'm going to just leave this out here since I saw it. Um, and we've got the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Two. So I want to make sure that you can, this was underneath, so I'm going to kind of put it like that. We'll make sure you can see it all. I think you can. Out of all these cards, the, the major arcana that we have here is the Hermit. And this, for me, does represent uh, Virgo. So the other signs that are obviously uh, kind of standing out for me, we've got the King of Swords. This was on the bottom, and we got the Queen of Swords. And so I feel like Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra may also have some significance besides you, Cancer, and Scorpio. So I wanted to say that. But, you know, what's interesting, too, is for me, I feel like there's a situation where somebody has gotten extremely tired with this 10 or you're feeling overburdened about a situation. Now, there's definitely, I feel, a decision that is coming down from either somebody, like it could be a boss, it may even be from the legal system, or from you. Now, the other way I'm reading it is that maybe you are waiting to hear a decision that's going to affect you. But I feel it more as you're the one that's kind of deciding what you want to do. And because I'm seeing this really as you. And there may be a queen and a king, interchangeable, male, female. There may be two people uh, there's, you know, as I look at this, there are three people in the boat. And so some of you are deciding what to do regarding a situation that may involve two other people. And the hermit in reverse for me, oftentimes I feel that this is extreme isolation or withdrawing. Oftentimes this 10 for me in reverse represents a divorce. Now this, especially with the queen and the king, oftentimes they come across as judges to me. They could come across as attorneys. Uh, so there may definitely be some legalities going on, often with the swords. I do think of the justice card, which is Libra, and um, communication. So there may be somebody that is deciding what to do regarding a marriage or separation, because I'm also, with this isolation or this loneliness. I feel like uh, you're deciding on what it is that you want to do and what direction you want to go in. So I feel like it's more in your hands than anybody else's. But this also could have to do with a business partnership that I feel like there is a lack of unity you know, things have been very kind of up and down or there's been delays on something moving forward. But I'm getting divorced. Now, when I get divorced, yes, it, like I said, it can mean a divorce or a separation. But I also feel like you are divorcing yourself or removing yourself to gain clarity to look at things from a different perspective. There may also be a something that has arisen. Um, now, this can represent children or a child. 
There may be something about a child, and maybe this is something legal regarding child support, child custody. Uh, but, and I'm also getting paternity testing that may be required. But I'm also feeling like there's a, a time, like in June, to really find, like this is, I'm looking at this as that there could be an opportunity that is forming. Now, with this in reverse, there may be a delay. Or there may be some business idea or venture or even school that you would like to attend. This might be even a like a master's program, especially with the hermit right next to it or a PhD. And maybe there's lack of funds that are available or there's something that's kind of you know, it could be a business idea that you're exploring, but there needs to be more investigating or more soul searching before this takes off. I do feel, though, that it is, you know, when I look at these cards, I get like a ripple effect, just like the Six of Swords. I feel like somebody is, uh, there's lessons that are being learned here. And what has been most likely kind of up and down, up and down, for some of you, I feel like it's going to start smoothing out. But it's kind of, the way it's coming across, it's like a lesson that's been learned. Like there's um, something in it that you've learned something out of it um, for some of you, I feel like maybe the, the lesson or, you know, you're just going through the motions for some of you. Maybe uh, somebody out there hasn't quite learned their lesson and that's why they're struggling. Because this Seven of Wands is also, this can be quite confrontational, wanting to maintain boundaries, standing your ground. Um, not letting, you know, people attack you or get to you. And so in order for what's been upside down, I feel through maybe isolation or calmness and getting to that meditative kind of serene place, um, is how you get out of this fighting or, you know, banter back and forth, back and forth. Because I feel like somebody may be blaming you for a situation. There may also be some jealousy involved. I feel like somebody is possibly a bit jealous or envious of where you're at is a message that I'm getting, and maybe they're the ones. It may not be you. This could be you, but what's happening around you is there's a lot of arguments or fighting or chaos or difficulties in communication or the way that someone's communicating is not agreeable, and so you kind of have to go inward. And in order to better communicate or you're backing away from the situation and allowing kind of the dust to settle before you go back in and, uh, you know, decide what to do. I think what's really important is that the more you plan Ahead of time, I feel like the better off you will be, the better off the progression will be, and this could definitely be you that gains this uh, through this process that you're the one that then recharges and comes back fighting, but fighting in a, I don't mean like in more in a positive way. 
because in before the hermit we have the leo card leo and we've got wands here so this may also be recuperating that some of you are getting your strength back so it might be kind of slow to come but i feel like towards the end of the month that their communication increases it begins to smooth out it's interesting too that we have a six here which does represent june so you do have the the strength and i picked this up for sagittarius which was interesting and the inner fortitude to get through whatever this is whether it's making a decision about a love situation because we do have three people here or are we going to stay business partners or how do i communicate better in the workplace because the pentacles can represent work maybe there was a decision in terms of moving up in the workplace and somebody else got the position and there were there there was more experience and you're just going to get back out there and start you know you're not giving up you're going to put up a battle and fight your fight fight the good fight uh for some of you i do also feel that there may be something about uh i feel like there's somebody that could be having um this back and forth i feel like there's something that's been happening over and over again and it may have something to do with an injury or a disc so i feel like somebody may be getting some like steroid shots in their discs because something is out of place because i feel like somebody has to rest so this could be emotionally that someone's tired, but I also get like the back or difficulty, like I'm getting with walking, uh, so it might be the lower back. And I'm also getting something about um, somebody may be wanting to get LASIK surgery, something that may be affecting seeing something. So it could be a metaphor on needing to communicate and see things more clearly or see what path you want to go on regarding work or regarding a job or regarding school or, you know, self-employment. But I also feel like it's seeing um, in terms of um, like somebody may need glasses or they may need reader glasses to help, you know, their eyesight. Uh, but I do feel that there may be, this battle may be health related that someone is going through. But I think that you'll know it could be like a grandmother figure or motherly figure um, this may not necessarily be you. Uh, so, but I do feel that uh, the more that you communicate, uh, I feel that will be helpful. But I, I get that there's a, a need, like kind of a time out or a break. You know, somebody possibly has been spinning their wheels going on and on and on and it's almost like this i i can look at like the wheels are spinning but in reverse you're not really getting anywhere or there's indecisiveness and i think where there's been indecisiveness by going within you will then make a decision and where maybe they're starting out with prints and then i'll be adding some other thing Take care thanks for watching bye